The Chicago Bulls beat the Portland Trail Blazers 104 to 96 in a game where they honestly probably should have dominated most of it. But when it comes down to it, they let the Trail Blazers back in, and that meant that DeMar DeRozan had to step up in the fourth, and we needed a clutch shot from Ayo DeSumo to really put this game away. And that's something we're going to talk about, as well as the great game from Julian Phillips and why he probably deserved more minutes. We'll talk about all that after the intro. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And with that, let's get right into it. When you look at this game, when you look at what happened with the Bulls, the Bulls didn't have the best game. Honestly, this was a game they probably should have won by a lot, but they didn't play up to the competition. They didn't put their foot on the throats of the Trailblazers, and they let them stay in the game the entire time, which really meant the Bulls had to constantly wait to try to fight it out in the fourth as they always do. But when you look at the game, Kobe White was a big part of this game being so close. He didn't have the best shooting night. 15 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists. He didn't shoot well from 3. 1 for 9 from the 3-point line. And this is one of those games as a star where you just have a bad shooting night. You have a bad scoring night in total. And you got to chalk it up that he had a bad time. It happens. The real question is what's going to happen next game after this. You can't come out and do two games like this in a row. So he's going to have to come back and step it up, make up for this game. But Kobe just wasn't a big factor as far as what happened in our offense. That takes me to Vooch. Vooch had 14.7 rebounds, three assists, also was not a big part of this offense, but there were parts in this game that I did love where the Bulls found Vooch, and same thing with Drummond, they found their big men during a mismatch with someone smaller on them in the po post, in the paint, and passed them the ball. They gave them the ball and let them go to work, and that's what you want to see. Find the mismatches. Do the things that good basketball teams do because that's how you become a better team. Don't be afraid to pass the ball in the Vooch because if you're passing it to him in the post, he doesn't shoot three-point shots. And the last thing we want on this team is Vooch shooting threes. Stop shooting goddamn three-point shots. It makes us sad. Every time you pull up to a point now where when people say Vooch, when he shoots, it's no longer Vooch. It's no, stop it. Don't do it anymore. That moves me to Alex Caruso, who had an okay game. Nine points, five rebounds, three assists. We didn't need Alex too much this game because the Trailblazers didn't have anybody. They, they are basically a G League college team. They don't have players who really scare you too much. So Caruso didn't have to do too much on the defensive end as far as guarding 15 players. But. The thing that I did like to see this game, and that'll take me to the other two people I want to talk about. Caruso on the floor tonight with Desumu and with Julian Phillips was a very scary defensive lineup for the Bulls. They were getting after it. They're all players who play hard. They get around screens, and they're all good enough on defense to actually switch. This is one of the times where you were okay with the Bulls switching on pick and rolls because all three of them can handle playing defense man-to-man, -man, and that's a great sign. I love to see more of that going forward. Hopefully, Billy continues to put Julian Phillips in so we can see more of that. Before I get to him, though, I do want to talk about Ayo Desumu. I would assume with this game had 11 points, five rebounds, three assists, and to start the game off had three straight baskets where he got a layup on the fast break back to back to back. He came after the trailblazers. He knew they had a team that was not up to par and he didn't back down. And I love seeing Io get a chance to be in the starting lineup, get a chance to be a starter and step in and say, Hey, I know what to do in my role. He came out aggressive. He came out with confidence and he worked through the entire team and finished the game off with a very clutch three point shot. And from what we've seen, I was not afraid of those moments. He will pull. And that's what he did today. That takes me to Julian Phillips, 11 points, two rebounds, one assist. But the big part about Julian Phillips is he showed this game why the Bulls drafted him. This is one of those games as a Bulls fan 
even if we're not winning this season, even if we're not looking the best at times, when you see a player like Julian Phillips that your team drafted and you see him come out and play the way he played today with confidence, getting out on the fast break, driving to the basket, getting contact glaze, and also double-handed blocks on people. When you see the athleticism, when the, you see the strength, the confidence, the skill from this player that you drafted, that is something that makes you like what you see from this team. A lot of questions with the Bulls are, can they draft? Can they develop players? Julian Phillips is a player that you can see the Bulls developing into either a super role player or a starter on this team for years to come. So I can't wait to see more of him. I also hope that we play him because last time he had a good game, Billy set him for like a month. Play Julian Phillips. Put him out there. Put him on the court. Let's see what he can do because honestly, He's playing great. When he gets minutes, he comes out and does the thing he needs to do, and his three-point shot is starting to look like he has even more confidence. And you got to remember, he used to be able to shoot. They changed his jump shot in college. It got a little worse, and we can get his jump shot to go back to what it was in high school, and we can get him to keep the aggression going. He's going to be a big piece for the Chicago Bulls. And then I see him, Patrick Williams, and Kobe White being on this starting lineup when it comes to two, three years down the line. Dale and Terry didn't get a lot of minutes. He didn't do a lot, but he did play good defense. He was active. He showed that he's constantly trying to do something for the team. But the Bulls played an okay game where they did the things they needed to do to get away with the victory. But it's even with that, as a Bulls fan, I know they can do better. And that's something I hope I start to see. I like that I'm seeing a win, but I want to see them get better at shutting these type of teams down early and resting their stars for a game that comes up in the future. Now, what I want to do is first up before anything, I want to just say... We're on our way to a thousand subscribers. I want to thank the people who have been rocking with the channel early on right now. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for making this dream a reality because six months ago, I was afraid to start a YouTube channel. I was wondering what people would think. I had a random black background that didn't make sense. And to see the six months of growth, the, the production of the channel growing, and to take that to be the co-host of Ch Chicago Bull Central's members only videos, which is honestly just mind blowing because that is one of the channels that really got me in love with Bulls podcasting. I have to say thank you all for who are really fresh here at the beginning and all of you guys watching this video who were subscribed from this video. Thank you guys for rocking with what I do. It means the world to see that people see what I do and it brings something, whether it's joy or fun or entertainment to your life. And with that, that takes me to the question of the day. So the question of this video, Julian Phillips, do you think Julian Phillips will be the starting small forward of the Chicago Bulls in the next two to three years. Leave it down in the comment section. Do you think he will? Do you think he won't? Let me know. Let's see all the hot takes you got for Julian Phillips. Who knows? If you guys leave hot takes on what you see the Bulls starting lineup looking like, who you think is going to grow, I probably will do a video at some point going over those comments and shouting you guys out. So to make sure you leave those below. And with that, I hope you all have a wonderful night. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you keep rocking with me. Love the Bulls. Love you guys. Peace.